How the heck did she get back there? might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Eh, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Hey! Oops. Some uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh oh. <gasps> what have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. No, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I gotcha. I know what F stop to use. Hello? What's the big idea? Can't you see we're busy? Exactly. A uh, photo? Uh, go ahead and tell him what you're planning to do so we can get on with it. I'm gonna blindside him with a special karate kick. Oh! A high speed shot! This means I need to decrease the exposure time. Karate? High speed shot? All you talking about? You'll see in a minute. <laughs> Wait! I used the wrong type of film. Could you maybe stun him with a different trick? Uh, sure. I'm gonna tie his shoelaces together. Ah, a close-up shot. Just let me mount my telephoto lens. Did you spray the sprocket or something? I don't have shoelaces. Abort, abort! I've got my telephoto lens here, but the adapter is missing. Can we have that shoelace thing on the back burner? Yeah, whatever. I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. I need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll switch on my night vision, just in case. Do your thing, Rufus! Man, this is going to be so epic! Um, okay, okay. One, two... Uh, I'm blind! I'm blind! What? <laughs> and... Uh, Ta-da! Wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, that's me, you know. How... Earth, did you do that? 
<laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Cole, right? Who? Oh, <laughs> her, sure. <laughs> How do you do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, we should? Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. Now, what was I about to do? Uh, save gold? Nah, I don't know. There's always time for that. How often do you, as a fan, get the opportunity to chat with your hero? Yeah, sure. There's that, but... So, you're a fan of mine. Captain Miss Barry, I traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. What are you doing aboard an Organon cruiser? Oh, uh, uh, that's a pretty interesting story. Too bad it's not about me. Let's discuss more exciting stuff. For instance, what about my exploit? Oh, boy! We should use the for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow, you really are the greatest. Did you hear about the time I saved Goal from the claws of the Organon? Sure. The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary. Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary? It's epic. Now, what else would you like to do? Actually, I already know it all. I would much prefer to watch you perform a new feat of heroism. You already know it all? Don't make me laugh. How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving gold. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. So? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. Ingenious! You found the cruiser's manual speed control! Exactly! The manual uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up! Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Um, I see! You're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done! That's because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the clogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Um, please! <laughs> See those parts fly! <laughs> um, woohoo! Faster still! This is so rad! My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this. Luckily, the Organon is known for its excellent fire protection measures. Yeah, that's the propaganda. I bet my boots. Your boots on that. Maximum speed already? Yeah, that's the organ on for ya. Foil force. For this, I need nothing but my fingers and my legendary ability to ignore the call of reason. I promised Joel I would never throw axes at her again. <laughs> I never mentioned fire again. Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Wait, Cole, I'll shoot you free! But you're a crap shot! 
Yeah, I'm a crack shot. Woo! Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Aw, oh, bummer, no more ammo. Aw, oh, bummer, no more ammo. What? Uh, Daredevil! Hulk! Someone leave the window open. So the cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, <laughs> and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still the mood and the group was just super whoopie doo. Yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot No problem for such a walk is all the less Stressful if you sing along with a motivating song And to emphasize this, I flapped the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas with helium gas <laughs> The way I took out that Organon with my shadow attack. Did you see that? That was so cool. They call him Rufus. Rufus. Everybody now. He's cool and he's smart. It's something, something modern art. What? Hey. Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash. Especially for my ears. But, but... Gold? Come on, Rufus. Are, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated. All of that. But mad at you? No. It was actually kind of cool. Oh yeah! Something something modern art! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha, stairs! Dark and steep and slippery. Huh. I'd better take a jump. After all, I hate that. Fall on my butt. That would be too embarrassing. Huh? Easy. I hear something. And the destroyer will pass through this door, and he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's and A dull knocking will precede his arrival, and he will say... Ow! Oh, oh, that's, that's gonna leave a bum. bum. Hey, don't mock me. You... Wait a second. I know you. You're very busy. No. You're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Portofisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. 
Ah, ah, ah. Which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't he? Uh, that's just hair splitting. What's with the strange outfit? Are you in some weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meniteto now. Hmm. <laughs> I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meatcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller. But I don't like to use my abilities. Oh yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's... Nonsense! I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly! You have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? Tja, you're beyond help. The quality of this pillowcase is outstanding. So many headlights can't be wrong. There's nobody here! <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop! Too late. Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet! Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find relief. I'm not a ghost. And it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes but... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey. Can't you make up your mind? Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret.
Yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine, I forgive myself. There, and now? What, and now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or something? <sighs> Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course! Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you gonna find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh man, what a crybaby. All right. What's your guilty secret, then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter. Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room. Next to... A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep. I like to listen to people while they sit in the shower. <laughs> Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh man, what a crybaby. Ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame. Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet. Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. Well, I was just leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone! Ooh! Ooh. Oh, that's better. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey. Can't you make up your mind? Huh, locked. Bozo? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. Doc? No answer. Huh, locked. Doc? No answer. The red modules are set to heat, but that's such a waste of energy. Let's see if I can turn them off.
<laughs> Did it! Rufus one, entropy zero. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch. No answer. Occupied. Uh, Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Temporal diarrhea? Yes! I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. Uh, there is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the world. Uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's going to prevent the end of the world. Oh! That would be very nice of you. I'm stuck here, you know. Why? Is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left, but it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh, oh, and I had the chili during the toxic and civil war. Oh. I don't think much of modern art, but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother and then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here we have the perpetrator. <laughs> a nut. Who needs tools when he has hands like vice grips? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slippery, my vice grips. Let's see if there's anything left in here. <laughs> There actually was something left in there. <laughs> Dust! <laughs> My circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell! Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me, though, with all that noise from the cruiser loop, not to mention the cold draft or the mold, but I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? At them? Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night, provided they stay in the room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know of. 
Super! That's all right then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekle. Uh, thank you, my good man. I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. We've had that checked. Hey, what's going on here? Kum, hum, kum, ba, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Kum, hum, kum, ba, yeah. Dooba, 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 uh, you wouldn't mind if I, if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure. No problem, pal. Boom, hum, boom, ba, yeah. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Boom, hum, boom, ba, no. Darn. You know, open flames in a laundromat is <laughs> its really not a good idea. That could burn down half the village. And then everybody points at you again. And they take away your flamethrower. And fire the friendly preschool teacher for failing to provide proper supervision. <laughs> Um, excuse me, is this going to take long? Boom, hum, kum, ba, yeah. Darn. find the craziest stuff in the trash. Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd. You are. And wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And uh, what does one do with a uh, neuro thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <coughs> that too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. You know, re-merging the aspects of her character. Yes? Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right. Together with the Ascension Code. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. 
shower? Why? Uh, for the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus, he is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of gold, or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Eh, almost? Where's the catch? Catch? No such thing. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? Not at all. No problem. I can fillet a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And Rufus, no. That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, this calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, Whoop-dee-doo. Uh, uh, mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop-dee-doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Huh. For beginners like you, maybe, but for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. The heating is off, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Not that I couldn't switch it back on any time. I'm thinking here primarily of the environment. The heating is off. Not that I... I'm thinking here... There must be a logical explanation for this. Like, for instance, I have achieved the next evolutionary level and developed spiritual superpowers. Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. But I was just leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um... Oh, oh that's better. Sure. What if I fail, and the world really does end? Oh no! I am the greatest. Ah, that doesn't fit here. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Hey! Leave Mr. Toffee alone!
That's pretty huge, considering there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. Um, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> is this gonna take long? Oh, darn. Oh, Cletus! Oh, that's the last thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbach, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange whoopie do mammoth fur read, eh? Don't be silly, Oppenbach. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire, now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Whew, close shave. I hate that stuck up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur wheeling. If I just take it, Oppenbach will notice and sound the alarm. What's missing here is a plan full of arrows and catapults and pitfalls and unpredictable twists. Or at least a couple of cool 3D special effects. Bags like that are for beginners. Genuine pros carry their stuff loose in their coat. Bags like that are for begin genuine. This pillowcase is full of lice. It's suitable for exactly two things. First, to get a daycare center under quarantine. And second, to cover a pillow. Undercover. Hello? Anyone out there? Um, no. J just the wind. That was to be expected. Not even the wind knows how to behave here. Duh. Hey there, did you enjoy what you just watched? I don't know what you just watched, but did you enjoy it? Well, we have other series on this channel. We have Pokemon. We also have Getting a Platinum. We've also done a whole bunch of Zelda stuff. We also got a series going on called Remnant from the Ashes. Maybe check out Cornzilla if you're interested in Godzilla. And we have a bunch of archive videos for you to enjoy.